Daniel Sinjata, and I play a New York City fireman on the television series Rescue Me. Because of my role, I've had a great interest in what happened to the firemen and first responders on September 11, 2001. Every week, more and more experts and celebrities are openly questioning the Bush administration's official story of the events of 9-11, and for good reason. Our democracy was founded by individuals who sought the truth and refused to accept the lies handed out by an oppressive government. Their patriotism lives on today, expressed by thousands of scientists, architects, engineers, pilots, intelligence professionals, teachers, and parents who seek real answers about the greatest crime in our nation's history. Purchase copies of the show game during the week of truth, April 16th through the 22nd, and help us shed light on the darkest chapter in American history. I don't deal in conspiracy theory, I deal in conspiracy fact. Um, say that it's impossible to have a conspiracy of this size with thousands of people knowing and somebody would have talked. And my answer is, you bozos, you buy it, the line every time, don't you? In May of 2001, Dick Cheney was placed directly in charge of managing the seamless integration of all training exercises throughout the federal government and military agencies by a presidential directive from the White House. What happened on September the 11th was we had a series of war games, all being conducted simultaneously. Now, if you think back, if you think back about what you may have seen on CNN or NBC or controversy about 9-11 as the hearings went by, you know, you, you've heard that there were tons of warnings available to the government. As a matter of fact, I document about 25 of them, very specific. Five separate war game exercises on September the 11th, which took available National Guard and Air Force fighter aircraft out of the Northeast Air Defense Sector, where all the attacks occurred, moved them to northern Canada and to Alaska. The, what we've just found also moved them to Iceland and Greenland. So there were not enough fighters, eight only available, as far as we can tell, in the entire, from Washington, D.C. up to New York City to respond to four hijacked airliners. They fly in pairs. One of my biggest questions would be, you mentioned them in passing, the war game exercises, which we now know were taking place. There were five simultaneous exercises, and I think we'll hear from another presenter today, six, which in effect paralyzed NORAD response on the day of September the 11th. Uh, and you'd also gone to read the footnotes, and I want to comment that uh, I saw uh, 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 Congressman Hamilton, who was the vice chair of the commission on C-SPAN, recently denigrating people who bothered to read the footnotes and point out the inconsistencies, but I thank you for doing that. There is one particular footnote that I will refer to very quickly in, uh, in uh, the Kane Commission report, which referred to uh, the war game exercise, Vigil and Guardian, and I, I think it's footnote 161, it's in my book, uh, as an over-the-pole Russian exercise uh, to practice for uh, Russian bombers, when in fact uh, the NORAD website indicates that the Russian over-the-pole exercise in progress that day was Northern Vigilance, not Vigilant Guardian, which we now know thanks to USA Today uh, and many other uh, sources and on the record sources submitted to the commission, was a hijack drill. And we also have statements from Richard Clark in his book that there was another exercise in progress that day called Vigilant Warrior. And I have ob obtained an on-the-record statement from a NORAD officer indicating that that was a live fly exercise. Have you looked into the, uh, the issue of the war game exercises and how important a question do, do you feel that is to answer? Because I also, and I'll shut up with this, you have gone past the point of you have deliberately stopped using the word mistakes that there were a bunch of mistakes that occurred on 9-11, that it was all somehow a bunch of sequential accidents, and you made a deliberate statement about the FBI. Do you, are you beginning to feel that there was some deliberate action uh, that might have affected NORAD's response that day? The only mention of any war game was in a footnote, the 9-11 report. Footnote 116 on 9-11, NORAD was scheduled, and they lied. They said Vigilant Guardian Vigilant Guardian was the hijack exercise. It was Northern Vigilance, which was the Soviet drill. So they're trying to confuse you again by lying. I have the original records showing what the drills were. So they lied even in a footnote to the report. Does anybody doubt that Condoleezza Rice was lying when she said we had no idea that anybody would use a plane to crash into the uh, We've confirmed a number of lies. We've confirmed numerous lies and inconsistencies in the Keene Commission report. 
But when the final 9-11 time report came out, if you look at the right-hand column, all of these times had not been submitted by any agency. That's like the prosecution and the defense submitting exhibits in a court trial, the judge going into chambers and coming out with a whole new set of evidence that neither side had, in, had ever introduced. This was the original submissions to the 9-11 Commission from all the evidence, from all the witnesses who had testified for them about the timing of specific events on September the 11th. What you do need are certain key people in key locations who do know at least most of or a significant part of the secret compartmentalized intelligence, SCI, that, that's an official term, uh, operation. And we, I found several, but this is my favorite of all the ones in 9-11. Dave Frasca, who was head of the Radical Fundamentalist Unit, he stepped on five separate investigations, each one of which could have prevented the attacks. There were two, there was an investigation of two of Bin Laden's relatives in early 2001. The White House issued an order which he then put out to the field saying, stop investigating uh, these two brothers of Osama Bin Laden who were living in Falls Church, Virginia, right next to CIA headquarters. The NORAD Press Relations Officer, Major Don Arias, that according to the terminology, the U.S. government was flying a live fly hijack exercise drill on the morning of September the 11th, which involved planes, airliners posing as hijacked aircraft under the direct control of NORAD, the, the Defense Department, and Richard Cheney. You didn't hear any about that. You hear anything about that, did you? Um, it's a very telling and it's a very heartbreaking chapter to read the callousness with which Rudy Giuliani, Dick Cheney. General Ralph Everhart, General Richard Myers, all of the National, Man National Command, uh, National Military Command Center staff, and everybody in the PEOC sat there and let the people in the South Tower die because they knew the second plane was coming, and I proved that they know that they knew it was coming, and they, they just let it die. Now. Whoever was coordinating the Air Force war games was under the management direction of Dick Cheney, who was also in charge of another terror drill being set up on the west side of New York. It was a bioterror drill called Tripod 2 being set up on Pier 29 on Manhattan's lower west side. And FEMA was already there. And if you read the paper trail that was putting Dick Cheney in charge of all the war game planning back in May, he was coordinating all training, not just in the military, because the FBI, Department of Justice, Health and Human Services, Centers for Disease Control, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, are not military. So all of that was placed under the aegis or under the umbrella of FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Administration. And FEMA was setting up a complete command post on the morning of September the 11th, just by coincidence, another war game. This is a case that I, as a detective, would take to a district attorney tomorrow. I would take crossing the Rubicon, drop it in the lap of the DA, and I say, I want a filing for murder, premeditated first degree, multiple counts with special circumstances.